talked a lot about anterior pelvic tilt lately and how that impacts how we may choose exercise selection. So I wanted to show an example in somebody in real life on how we would do an examination that quickly and simply shows us maybe some modifications that we, we can do with some of our drills. So one thing I'd look at is just a simple straight plane sagittal knee to chest type motion. And you can see here in Mike, he's pretty limited with just his hip flexion just in the straight sagittal plane, kind of like knee to chest. And when I say knee to chest, I kind of line it up where it's like knee going to his armpit, so it's about shoulder width apart, okay, which would be pretty similar to how we would do some of our exercises. So with him, you can see he's pretty limited. From your angle, it's probably give or take about 100 degrees of hip flexion or so. Mike, how's that feel? Do you feel anything in your hip joint when we do that? It feels tight. So it feels like a little, like almost like a little pinch in that area? Yeah. So he feels a little something in the front of his hip when we do that. And that makes sense, right? We're probably approximating bone on bone. or kind of driving it into the acetabular rim to, to an extent. So when you're anteriorly pelvic tilted, that really brings the rim down a little bit. And you actually start the motion in a bit of hip flexion. So it seems like he's limited with hip flexion and he's, he has this limitation, but realistically he's just starting in hip flexion because of that anterior pelvic tilt and we're just running out of room a little bit easier. So one modification that we can do obviously in addition to addressing his anteriorly, anteriorly pelvic, uh, tilted pelvis is to come out a little bit wider and see if he has an increase in motion. He does. This is a great example. So you can see now we have quite a bit of depth in, in terms of his hip range of motion here. And Mike, how's that feel? So he feels good, like that pinch is gone. So we go up kind of like normal shoulder width apart and kind of feel like he's hitting bone on bone. We go a little bit wider and he can go super deep, no problem. So he's someone we're probably gonna pick some exercises that have a little bit wider hip position. So maybe when we squat, we're gonna widen him up a little bit. When we deadlift, maybe we'll go to a sumo deadlift versus a conventional deadlift, just to make sure that we're working within his normal anatomy. So this is him, this is, this is the way his pelvis is aligned. So rather than try to make everybody conform to one specific type of exercise, we're gonna make the exercise conform to his unique anatomy. Okay, so what this would look like and why we would do this, if you really envision how he looks when he's, he's laying on the table, he's in this position here with about 100 degrees of hip flexion. So when he stands up and he tries to squat, why would that be any different, right? It's still gonna be about 100 degrees or so of hip flexion. So this isn't someone that we wanna, we wanna squat pretty deep with. He's probably gonna feel a pinch in there. He's probably not gonna be very comfortable. He might get a bit of a butt wink, right? He might round his back as well because he's trying to get that depth that his hip really doesn't have in that kind of neutral or shoulder width position. So a couple of modifications we may do, again, we might widen them up, we might toe them out a little bit, we would go to a little bit wider stance just in general for both the squats and deadlifts while we're working simultaneously on restoring some of that anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so put those two together, I think this is a great example of how we may modify exercises for somebody and how that looks on the examination. So simple knee to chest, it kind of feels like we're hitting his, the end of his anatomy, so to say, when we go knee to chest in a shoulder width position. We go a little bit wider and all of a sudden he gets that depth and he can get a nice looking squat and a little bit more kind of functional movement pattern for him.